What's going on, everybody? This is part 11, I believe, of Resident Evil Remake, and we're finally at the lab. It's time to finally uh, finish this game, at least this part. So, what have we got? We have some fuel for burning stiffs, which we're not going to worry about because we have some zomboids. He's alright, he's headless. Who's next? We have some herbs, but we're, to be fair, we're probably never going to use them. Come on. Come on, beautiful. Around the corner. Slowly amble towards the inevitable. Damn it. Now, what have we got weapon wise? We got five grenades. Okay, so let's just. Let's just give them a magic pill. There we go. We don't care about wasting that shell. What do we got? We got bags of ammo. And I shouldn't have. What have we got here? Ah, yes, the Mo Disc. We need the Mo Discs. Now we can't go in there just yet. Nope. So let's head further into this hellhole. It looks really bad. Look at all the cobwebs and everything. Yeah. Do not want. Right. I'm hoping we can complete this in this part. I can't see no reason why we shouldn't be able to. He's headless. This guy can eat a grenade. There you go. Dinner is served. I actually hurt myself there, which was stupid. However, if we just go back up here, there's uh, health. So we might as well smoke him if we got him. Use as much of it up as we can. Uh, around the uh, barricade there. Yoink. Let's chew on that one. Grab that one. Yep, we we'll take it. And we'll have a munch on that too. Right, let's continue down. And see what else we got in this nightmarish hellhole. Now, in the original Resident Evil, uh, the zombies would regenerate in here for quite a while. Now, to my knowledge, they don't in this one. We might as well take the knife. I think there's a magazine here somewhere. Nope, not in this difficulty. Some more pretty amazing lighting effects there. I know it's all pre-rendered, but damn, it does look good. So, this is the only door we can take. We certainly want what's here. Some nice fat magnum rounds. What else have we got? So this place looks pretty messed up. Part of a corpse lies on the operating table. Nice. A monitor used to display images from an electron microscope. Mm. An information management server. It appears to be broken. Okay. What's that? V Act researchers note. Now V Act is the creature that was in the coffin uh, with the death masks. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutates into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Uh, its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it. Hmm. Turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left here. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. 
we finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Hmm. Basically, they brushed it under the carpet. A variety of chemicals you've never seen before. We take the first aid box. And what's inside? There's a green herb inside. Oh. Okay. And we take the flash grenade. Now, that's this room clear. Let's head back up to our item box. Actually, I don't think we need to, not yet. There is something else we can do first. It is a slight pain that we have those ink ribbons on us, but it's not the end of the world. Let's duck through this way. Right, we may pick that uh, box up here, that medical box, we may not. It depends, see how we go. Right, this is a puzzle room. Um, you can't carry any more items. Okay, so yeah. We there's space to put up an x-ray. Researcher's letter. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I'll no longer be the person you once knew. The result of my test came today. As I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have become one of them. As far as I know, you're not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such, des uh, such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system uh, in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. Everything is still running normally and you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I've set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as a password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure I have coded that password into an x-ray picture. Uh, uh, bleh. Ren, beer, whatever that says. Beer. I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it's my last request. I hope you never have to lay your eyes on me in this state. But if you do happen to run across me in my hideous form, I beg you, put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Okay, John Ada. Right, let's go jiggle our junk around. What we could do is go through here. No, we can't do this bit yet. Okay, yeah, we are going to have to go jiggle our items about. A bit of a pain in the bum, but never mind. Right. This lab area is very, very small. Really is quite small. Like I say, uh, if you're speedrunning this game, this area, I mean, you can skip all the passwords. Uh, you can skip all the puzzles, because um, if you know all the passwords, there's there's quite a few rooms you don't even have to go into, to be honest. But we're going to get the best ending, and I'm going to show you all the puzzles. So, Right. Let's ditch these bad boys down. Don't need that. We don't need that yet. Stick that back. Right, that's better. Let's continue. Right, so let's go back to that x-ray room. And have a look and see what we've got. doesn't really look like... I don't know... It, eesh. 
This place looks really freaky. Uh, it certainly looks like it's been uh, disused for many, many years. And we went past it. There we go. Much of this is pretty much the same as it was in the first game. Right, so there is a x-ray there. Oops, and I believe you have to examine it. Nothing unusual. There's nothing unusual. A name on it is Clark David. Okay. Right, and there's another one. That has to... Right, so this has to go there. And this guy, who's actually a woman, a memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic uh, door, place the initials in alphabetic order. Yep. And that's Gail Holland. Now you have to put her over here. There we go. Then we flick the switch. Part of it is glowing red. And that gives you a password. If you take the first letter of each organ, it should spell out cell. Yeah. And they'll all light up red if you got them in the right. Uh, um, what do you call it? Yeah. The right lining. Uh, yeah, there's still that there. Okay, so let's go use the computer. If you got them in the right order. Sorry. So we know we have our passwords. We have Ada, John, and Cell. Now, in the original game, it wasn't Cell, it was Mole, but they changed that. Right. So let's have a fiddle with the computer. And the login is John, I believe. Uh, damn this non QWERTY keyboard. There we go. Accessing. Bingo. We're in. Right, so we want to unlock this guy. Now if we put Mole in, apparently it's supposed to do an easter egg. Yeah, there you go. There's your easter egg. That is Tofu, a secret character from Resident Evil 2. Right, but the actual real password we want is Cell. And that unlocks that. There we go. And that. You don't need a password for this one. That unlocks the other door. Okay. So the first room we want to go into. If Chris can work out how to go around a chair. Is this one. That is a really creepy operating room. You've got all those stiffs hanging up and everything. Yeah. Really unnerving. Right. And I've gone the long way round, which was pretty stupid. But it doesn't matter. The result is the same. Now. This door should now be open. It is. And we have one naked stiff. He's dead now. I hope. Some more magnum rounds. Yeah, so he's gonna... Now, as far as I know... Right, we want the slide filter. As far as I know, these naked zombies don't become... It's filled with clear liquid. Don't become crimson heads. You'd probably be better off not touching it. Yeah, probably. What's this? Ah, fax. 
Um, to sanitation division, manager of sanitation, raccoons uh, disaster contingency committee. Contingency, sorry. Uh, the contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax uh, must be destroyed immediately. We suspect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It's also been reported that most of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of T-virus infection. Second concern. Our security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. A quick, uh, quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We suspect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our, well, underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official uh, intervention will come from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Okay. Now these game cubes are what we need to use the modisks on. A security system pass code for uh, blah, blah, blah. a security system pass code transmission device. If you had a modisk. Uh, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Now we need to do that. Also, this is important. The system seems. Uh, there seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Open it. Yes. Warning: fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Hmm. Looks like a refueling device. Okay. So let's get out of here. I like the little chair in the corner. Right. So let's go back up the stairs. Now we unlock that room as well. There we go. Quick jump up these stairs. And into this room. Right, so what do we have here? We may as well snag the F aid spray. What's this? Ah, so we now have all three modisks, which is great. What's that? The film has been set into place. View it? Yes. Umbrella, bioorganic weapon, official report. ME39 uh, Cerberus. FI03 Neptune. MA121 Hunter. T002 Tyrant. Bioorganic weapons research group, development staff. Notice that familiar character there on the uh, right. Now we have a barcode, but if we set this into place, we'll have an examine first. There are red coloured slides on the inside, nothing's on it. So let's use it. Pretty much everything's the same except for that. 8462. Right. So we need to look at this contraption here. And it was eight four six two. And what's that gonna yield us? Aha A secret little door. Okay. Now that gives us a very important laboratory key. We certainly do want that. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. 
So this is the film we uh, picked up off Kenneth right at the beginning of the game. So let's have a look. So, yeah, it's a cool little Easter egg, but it's kind of pointless. Right, do we have anything? Apparently there is other stuff in here as well. Ah, laboratory map, we'll take that. And there's still something else in here. Camera recordings. Ah, security protocols. Heliport. For executive use only, this restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Passage to the heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorised persons entering the helipo heliport will be shot on sight. Yeah. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room. Uh, for use only by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Irving, room manager. Prison sank. Uh, wait a minute, Keith Irving. That sounds relatively Irving. Sounds relatively familiar. Um, Sanitation division controls use the uh, use of the prison at least one consultant researcher E Smith S Ross or A Wesker mm, must be present uh, if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door entry into the room is limited to the sole person who do deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Access uh, the exclusive output terminals. Located in each section of the senior research Bleh. output terminals, located in each section of the senior researchers, deactivates the lock. Yeah. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used to act as the primary fuel source of power. Uh, access is limited to headquarters. Uh, supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorization authorized senior researchers. Basement level floor. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T-virus illegible hereafter. Yeah, okay. Right. And there's still something else in here. Huh. I actually think, yeah, this happened before. Ah, shotgun cartridges. Anything else? No, we're finally empty there now. Right. So we now have our laboratory key. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our box and we're going to grab us those mo discs because we might as well use those and get them out of the way right at this pace it might actually take us um, over half an hour to do this but it, I might just make this a longer episode. Because it is the end of the game. Right, there's no point having like a 10 minute episode afterwards or anything like that. Right, let's go back down these stairs. And through here. So, first thing we want to do is check this door. Use the laboratory key. Or laboratory key, depending on how you want to say it. Tomato, tomato. Oh, we have movement. 
Oh. That's not sounding good. Let's go through this vent. What have we got? Ah, we have one of the new beasties. Two rounds from the shotgun. Sends them to hell. Yeah, these are weird bug type things. And they, they're only... This blood doesn't... Oh, what does that say? The operating table is covered in blood. The blood doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. The operating to yeah. These guys kind of randomly ex uh, whoops, spawn them out. There is a limit of them, though. Right. So, what do we want in here? We want to go up and into this area, I think. The shelf is full of various antitoxins. Ah, this is what I wanted. A security passcode transmission device. If you had a MoDisk, you could transfer the password. Yes, we do have one. Doesn't matter which MoDisk you use. Well, that's one lock released. Only one MoDisk can be used uh, in each machine. Right, what do we got here? Give this a shove. Looks like we've got loads of bodies and things. Yeah. Not very nice. And uh, we're back in this room. Now, somewhere in here, I believe, there is shotgun shells. But. Oh, get down, Chris. Come on. There we go. Um, I'm not 100% sure where they are. In here, maybe? Nope. Well, trust me, guys. It's only a box of shotgun shells, so we're not going to lose any sleep over it. We have more than enough ordnance to finish this game. Right, so let's go through here. We're going to throw the key away because we don't need it anymore. Ooh, and we can hear zombies. We don't actually have to kill that one, incidentally. Oh shit. Is he dead? Nope. He is now. Right, now we need to carry on through this door. Now there is loads of those weird little creature guys in here. There's one. Let's waste him. I'm not kidding. There is a good load of these guys. Yep. Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. So we want to grab this. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. Well we'll take that. We don't have to worry about it too much. Um, usually it does say that, that thing's going to explode, but there's no fuel in it, so we're not going to worry. And there's another one of those weird, disgusting beasts. He's dead now. And another one. Come on! There we go. He's now dead as well. Right. So let's go back and refuel this canister. Right, as quick as we can. Now, when we have this canister in our pocket, we can run, but it might explode at any time. So, we're probably just going to take a leisurely stroll. Right, so it's in this room, and I believe we can use our last Modesk here as well. This room, I believe. Now, this zombie that we killed in here should be gone. I think. Yeah, so these guys don't actually become crimson heads. Which is interesting. An x-ray photograph. 
Where was the mode disc reader? There it is. Oh, we have another one to do yet. So that's that lock released. Okay. Right. Nope, we need to refuel our fuel cell now. So let's stick that. It's not necessary. Yes, it is. It looks like the refueling device. Set the capsule. Yes. Pretty strange to use nitroglycerine as fuel, but meh. Right, you got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be a nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Yeah. Now, um, you can actually run for some degree, but uh, I'm not going to risk it. Also, if we get attacked or have to use our gun, uh, we might set it off. We might as well pick this up whilst we're here. Right. I'm going to stop my timer. Uh, what I am going to do, I've decided, is there is still about 10, maybe 20 minutes left at this pace, so I will break this up into another video. I know I'm always changing my mind, but that's me. So let's slowly amble towards. There we go. I reckon it's taken us about six hours to get through this game. Which is actually, oops. Which is actually quite a poor time, but we don't care. Slowly does it. Now, hopefully no more of those weird beasties show up. I mean, if we have to put them down, we will, but it's nice not to have to worry about them. Right, so let's put this cartridge in there. Yes, it is. You may actually have to, yeah. It's not, yep. Yeah. Set the capsule, we will. Right, now we need to do that for this reason. Let's check what's in here. Yeah. What do we got? We have some herbs. Two green herbs inside. Nice. Right. So let's continue cleaning this area up. Because we need to go right to the back of this place to activate a generator. And this guy is going to jump out at us. Feckin' little bastard. And that's where the last modisk is used. There we go. Now we can save our friend Jill. I can still hear them. Bloody stinky little gits. And our gun's empty. So we just reload that bad boy. Bet you wish. Oh, there's another one. There we go. I bet those guys wish that they didn't stick their heads out then. They're very easy to dodge, but for the purpose of this, we're just having some fun, so we might as well waste them. Oh, yeah, who wants some? Come on. Put your lips around the barrel. He's running off. Yeah, these guys sometimes do that. They will run away. Oh. Oh, that makes such a satisfying mess. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, they're satisfying to fight. They really are. Right. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. Yes. Okay. Now, might as well reload our boomstick and carry on. I can still hear one. There he is. That's the one we winged earlier. 
He's dead now. Oh, there's another one in here. Apparently. There you are. Come to daddy. There we go. Can't run forever. Oh, he's getting back up. Oh, that was explosive. Yeah. Oh, another one. Really? Well, he got lucky. Little bugger. Right. How many shells have we got left? Not many. But that's cool. Because we're at the end of the game now, so it doesn't matter. Right. Notice that zombie's disappeared now. For some reason he disappears when you activate the elevator. And here we are. Let's grab these shells into this save, final save room, I believe. Let's grab that. Let's munch this. Yeah, might as well munch that. Why not? Let's open this up. Uh, we're gonna have a good look around. Uh, what else have we got in here then? Just these save ribbons. Right, I'm gonna save the game here. And we're gonna take a very, very short break. And I'll catch you guys in a second.